We didn't say that. All right. One of the reasons why I've always held fast through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, two to 12 tribes chart, is the fact that nobody, and when I say nobody, I mean nobody that I've ever seen deny it, come against it, be opposed to it, criticize it. There has never been an antithesis of viability of any substantiable facts that's been laid to the 12 tribes chart. Do you know the story behind this chart? Go ahead, bro. This is Exodus. You know the story behind this chart? You don't believe. That's made up. Do you know the story behind this chart? You don't believe it. Since you don't want to refresh your incarnation, I don't believe it. Let's since since you just did that, you see Panama on here? Go ahead, bro. Do you know Panama? Used to be part of Colombia, right? And now how? Man. How is so, the Panamanians a different the ethnic group than the than the Colombians? The so-called white Did man, you right? know Panama used to be part of Colombia? Did you know that? Exodus 21. You didn't know that. And here that Panama man used to be part of Colombia, right? Or and yet you've got the Panamanians of a different ethnic group sir, than the Colombians. To death. Right, so the Lord Let's find out the year this happened. Since you don't want to talk about reincarnation. Which the Edomites are still here, by the way, because the scripture says no end of all Panama become a country. Except in the end when there is an end to all people. <laughs> that doesn't mean that all people Panama became independent in 1903. That's good, man. So Panama used to be part of Colombia. So explain to me how Panama is a different ethnic group than Colombia, even though they were a country until just They're 100. all the tribes of Israel. That's no, no, why you need to know. I'm asking you, you why? Know that? Like, how is Colombia a different ethnic group than Panama? Down, you ain't going to get it. Did you? If you break it down, you did you know this? You're going to refuse it. Okay, break it down. Wait, wait, wait. He no, said not, if we break it down, it so down you, all man. ears, mouth is shut. You're not worth it. You already showed your Here hand, comes bro. the great you know Panamanian you. explanation, ladies and gentlemen. Which My part? mouth is shut. Okay, the Panamanian explanation. There, 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 okay, I wasn't uh, here. I think it's in Rome. It's Did you guys know that Panama wasn't in a country until 1903? No, I didn't know that. I actually it, learned something today. It used to be part of Colombia. So the question is, do you guys see Colombia is Asher? Yeah, I do. And you guys see that Panama is Zebulon? Wow. So how did that occur? If this chart would have been made in 1902, Panama yeah, would have yeah, been you know, part of Asher. Right, you'd be missing a you'd be missing a tribe. You, well, well, you could have no, kept the Guatemala. Guatemala. Yeah, Guatemala. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse. You, you don't have an answer right? for that, do you? Verse 16. Both the Hispanics and the natives. natives. Okay, you want to go back to the chart? All right, we'll do that. Let me smash you on that so again. This guy's making, Gad, making a fool. Gad out of says North American Indians. Reuben says Seminole Indians. There you go. Guess what? In Gad, that would include the Creek and the Muskegee. Hey, 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 hey! Wait, wait, wait! Slow down. Guess who the ancestors to the Seminoles are? The Creek and the Muskegee. How do you have the ancestors to the Seminoles in a different chart than them? How are the ancestors to the Seminoles in a different tribe? Is that true? Yeah, it's true. IUIC, Israel United in Christ, decided to update, quotation mark, their 12 tribe chart sign by casually just kind of tossing in there Isaiah 11 and 11 and then say scattered throughout Africa and abroad. Now, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that's something had, else. Let's say it again. That's something else. I, I hope everyone understands. That's a big deal. So everybody, look at this. Look at this. I know it's kind of hard to see. So there's 12 tribes usually on the chart, right? You see Nephtali. Right. Then it says Isaiah 11, 11, scattered throughout Africa and abroad. Do you see that? Right. They added a 13th line now to the 12 tribes chart that's been the same way at least since the 60s and maybe even earlier because apparently Abba Bibbins is the one who first came out with the chart, not Ariaz, we were commonly taught, to told. This is a big deal. IUIC went ahead and added a 13th line, the 13th tribe, which is basically everybody in the whole world who believes in this doctrine. And we're going to show a video clip. I don't know if you want to show it now, Brother Jay. That actually shows that this 12 tribes chart, which apparently has its uh, origin in, in Abba Bibbins, right? And Aria came in and, and added it or whatever he did. It's not exactly clear according to the to mouths of people who were there. Uh, he, he knew and everybody knew back then that it was false. This thing is made up. Yet you guys go out on the streets and what do you carry around on your sandwich boards besides images from Terminator 2? Judgment Day or whatever it is. Uh, what do you guys carry around on on, on, on your uh, your thing besides uh, things from Independence Day with aliens? You carry a 12 tribes chart. You preach the gospel of the 12 tribes chart. Someone comes up to you. You don't ask them if they're born again. You don't ask them if, 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 uh, if uh, they're in Christ. You don't ask them any of that. You ask them who their father is. What's your last name? I'm Irish, German, African. You're Irish, German, African. So you put 
Irish first, then German, then African last. What was your father? Irish German. What was his father? Irish German. So your father's white, My father's and white. your mother is black. She's black. Okay. This don't apply to you, sis. The true name for the people in the Bible. So my question to you, Poker, is which one do you fall in? Which one would your father be from? American black. Well, guess what? According to the Bible, you are from the tribe of Judah. That's your true nationality. And then you try to point to them being on the chart somewhere based upon looking at them in the answer they give you, which is just absolutely insane. Hey, Brother All Jay, right. we got a, a Hebrew guy in here saying Abba Bivens never had the chart. We should say again. Abba Bivens never had the chart. A Hebrew Israelite in, is in the comments saying Abba Bivens never had the chart. You want to show him that video? Well, we're going to play the video from someone who's actually around when Abba Bivens was alive. All right, so here we go. And when Abba Bivens get up with that impressive voice and that, that, that stately manner and that white beard. And, and he also used to wear a turban. And he wore a white turban. And one time we were over there and they had the charts up. And they had the charts that said, if you're Jamaican, you come from this tribe. And if you're from uh, Barbados, it's that tribe. And boom, 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 boom. And uh, read the book, said, hey, come, come on, Pop. Said, what is, you know that ain't right. He said, of course, Danny, I know that's not right. He said, but that's the hook. That's how we get them into place. And we wire them up to what's true. Well, you know, years later after he passed away and his sons and all of them, they either died or moved away. The uh, Tanakh school began to teach those things as truth. This is the truth, you know, and well. So as you guys can see, that chart was made up. Matter of fact, who is one made uh, even admit to that in the comment section, though he's saying this guy is a liar. He said Yohanna was there in person and said, Arya created the chart after he broke his legs and was stuck at home for right. a while. And Yahweh is one. I've seen that video you're talking about. Yeah. The 12 tribes. Oh, right. That's it. They said that Arya did not come up with the 12 tribes, that it was Abba Bibbins that came up with the 12 tribes. I'd have been around for a while. And I am in the ISUBK. That's right. So I know what went on in the ISUBK. Right. And I heard it from the horse's mouth. I ain't hearing this second part. I'm hearing this directly and ask anybody. I was there back then with the heads and all that. And I, and I asked Ariel about it. And I said, Ariel, how did the 12 tribes come about? And they proceeded to go into the story, okay, about Ariel. First of all, Ariel used to work construction as a young man. And like I brought out in that documentary the brothers was making, he fell down an elevator shaft, three stories, broke both his legs, was in traction, got in a wheelchair for three years. So he spent a ton of that time at home, and he started to study the records and the history. And he did this for years. And then he had the vision. Now, this I'm getting this from Mo and Aria out their own mouth. I ain't getting this second party. I ain't talking to somebody that talked to them. I ain't talking to somebody from some other group. I was standing there in front of them when they was laying it out. That's right. That's More right. than one was laying it out. Mm -hmm. And that's when he, Aria had the vision. Bibbins was over the school. Aria was one of the ones coming up in the school. When he got the vision, of course he brought it to Bibbins. Bibbins knew the vision was right. And of course, being the head of the school, Bivens brought it out to everybody. Yeah. Just and like guess what? I have a question to ask you. Did General Yohanna ever know Abba Bivens? The answer is no, he did not. Who's the only surviving One West member associated with school who knew Abba Bivens? Only one man. Guess who it is? Aria. Nathaniel never knew Abba Bivens. Tahar never knew Abba Bivens. Guess where they got all their information about Abba Bivens from? Aria. And Ariya has not been shown to be a reliable relator of anything. He made up his own language, which he ripped off from Abba Bivens. Then he put forward Jermaine Grant as the Holy Spirit comforter. He's the one who's telling Yohanna this information or whatever. But 
we see it is ripped off like so much of Hebrew Israelism. Hebrews, and None they hate the 12 tribes. They and now they, they, they made a big thing because we updated the very bottom yeah. that says Isaiah 11, 11 yeah, with that, that Deuteronomy 28, 64. Yeah, yeah, it says beautiful. we're scattered in all nations, which is true. That's what it says. Now they mad. They mad. You got the apologetics. All across, and we updated, I think it was two years ago. Yep. Yep. Two years ago. Yep. We just re-put it out again. Now they're exactly. like, look what they exactly. did. Look what they did. They did something new. They put uh, no, no, simple. That was two years ago. You just now getting right, up on right. it. Right. Simple as But that. that's not new doctrine. That has been the doctrine of the Bible ever since it was written. There you go. Isaiah eleven eleven has exactly. always been has there. It's always been there. Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty four has, has always, always been, been there. Revelation seven nine has saying, hey, always been you there. Go right. Acts two or five is always. We been never there. said that those twelve <laughs> names that we got there are the only Israelites in they the world. Bishop. The, we didn't say that. Bishop, they know that. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Giving all praises to the Most High in Christ. Okay? Today's topic, we're going to deal with the 12 tribes of Israel. Who they are and where they're located. My name is Nathanya Alaga, and to my right, read on, um, gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. So this is showing you Jacob was torn to his sons, the Israelites, not Africans. We didn't say that. Not Arabs. We didn't say that. Not Chinese. We didn't say that. Not Japanese. But the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel. Always we did. never said that those 12 <laughs> names that we got there are the only Israelites in they the world. The, we didn't say that. This 12 tribes chart is the very essence of the violation of Titus 3.9. Let me show you what I mean here. Watch this. Avoid foolish controversies. Hebrew Israelism is filled with foolish controversies. I mean, think about how, how silly it is to hold up a chart and say, um, I know based upon the way you look and act and according to the way you receive my doctrine and the vibe I get about you, those are the factors they usually use, that you're on this chart and... If you're on here, you can be saved if you keep the law, statute, and commandments. And if you're not on here, you can't. Talk about a foolish controversy. Avoid foolish controversies. Genealogies. The 12 tribes chart is a made-up, fabricated genealogy. That's literally what it is. It's an invented genealogy. It might as well say on there um, some of the, the people groups, you know what I'm saying, orcs and, 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 and dwarfs and elves and because it, my point by saying that, it might as well be something from Tolkien, from Lord of the Rings, because we have about as much knowledge as we do these people groups and how far back they go and which one they would be attached to. Now, obviously, these are real people groups, real nations. My point is, though, it's about as meaningful as far as knowing who fathered who and who didn't sire who. Avoid that, though, it says. Avoid dissensions. The whole doctrine of Hebrewism is a dissension. If you're part of these people, you can be saved and you're going to rule these other people. We didn't say that. 